we have passed 45 minutes. I suppose to have a short break to continue to the next meeting, but it seems that Zoom has allowed us to extend beyond 30 minutes. So I give you five minutes now. Uh, you can have, do you have any question? Those who have question, you can, I don't know how you want because there's 95 of you. I don't think everyone can ask a question. So I leave it to the floor. Who have a very burning question to ask? You can uh, unmute and ask here so that everybody can hear you. Can everybody follow what I say so far? I must see the chat. You can show me the chat that whether you can type in the chat to see whether you can follow so far. All good. Okay, Ai Wei got a question. Come, Ai Wei, Ai Wei. Okay, Ai Wei, you, you unmute yourself and ask the question, Ai Wei. Okay. Thanks for the presentation, Yalin. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Continue, continue. Okay, uh, actually, I have a question about the Apollo test. Okay, Apollo okay. test, yes. Based, yeah, based on LTCDC, there's a cross actually talking about the ultimate load test. Yes. It's mentioned that the, the power size can be considered representative for working hours up to twice the twice the diameter of the test power. So okay. my question is, uh, here is only talking about the upper limit. So the test power result can be used for the working power which is have a smaller diameter compared with the test power. Okay, you, you give a minute. I, I know what you're talking about. Let me take yeah. out the... Uh, it's cross 6.5.1.1. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You are referring to this statement. DC. Uh, this one, right? Uh, can you hear the I, I can you see the screen, sorry. I cannot see the screen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I only saw the short clip. <laughs> wait, uh, share this. Okay, sorry. Okay, I'll share this now. Now you can see the screen, right? Ah, uh, yes. yes. You're talking about this. Uh, no food. Number two, right? The power side can be yeah. considered represent for working power up to twice the diameter of the test power, right? Is this this statement you're asking about? Ah, uh, yes, correct, correct. So what this statement mean is, what this statement means, uh, in your one side, you will have many different sizes from 600 mm, the smallest to 1.8 meter diameter possible, right? Yes. So sometimes you want to choose, you want to choose a pound to test. You want to use from the contractor point of view, also from the uh, builder point of view is that they want to save money. Right? The smaller the power to be tested, the cheaper the cost, right? If you imagine you want to test a very big power, you need a lot of stone if you use cannage. If you use a smaller power size, you use less stones, common sense. So what you're trying to say that, let's say your power size vary from 600 mm to 1.8 meter diameter, and you want to save money, you want to use only, you want to test, do the optimal load test on the 600 mm diameter power. The, the CDC will come and telling you that this 6 mm maximum can be represented for what, up to 1.2 meter diameter. Okay? Yeah, are you with me? I will. Uh, actually, my question would be like, uh, for example, we have the smallest power is 600 mm. Yes. But we do the test power with 800 mm diameter. So where the test power result can, uh, where the test power result applicable to be used for the 600 mm. Yes, 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 power. yes. Yes, 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 definitely, yes. Uh, but actually, practically, la, Mm. So like for the smaller power size, actually the workmanship, especially for the base cleaning, uh, we have some problems. Like uh, for the more, actually for 600 mm for power, normally the workmanship of the cleaning base is not so good. So I have a concern, uh, if we do the 800 mm 
or one meter diameter test pile where this you I need the same workmanship for the base cleaning. Okay, for, to answer your question, I have a perfect person to answer this. Where is the Kelvin Liu? Is Kelvin Liu here? Uh, I got pouring contractor here, yes. so let the pouring contractor yes, yes. Kevin Liu, yes. you are here, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, you answer his question. You think 600 mm diameter, the workmanship is lousier than the 800 mm? Actually, no difference. Uh, it's uh, how you how you clean the dough only. Uh. Uh, no, actually, it happens in my project. Uh, yeah. 600 mm bowl they have no problems to clean the base because the size is not uh, big enough. So, they have some problems. Oh, <laughs> Actually, for ball pile, the smaller size we can do is 600. La. So, if you say yeah. got problem, is the contractor got problem. La. Uh, technically, 600 to us, uh, we don't have so far, we don't have any problem la. installing the 600 pile. Okay, good to hear that. But actually, in two of the projects I, I, I'm doing now, actually, they all got problems. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. I need to stop you because okay. I hear you. You see, now we are now it's good that you raise this question, Ivy. And it's also good that Calvin is here to answer your question. Yeah, thanks. Okay, because as you know now, underground construction is always concerned about women. You can have the best design, but you cannot always have the best workmanship. And your workmanship is really dependent on the operator who operate the powering machine. Not the engineer in the office. Okay, so that's why I also this also touch on another issue, which is the site supervision team, right? Yes, Your yes. RE so RTO for, are supposed to be so there to address all these workmanship issue. We supposed okay. to have a quality issue, a quality control measure to ensure this kind of thing won't happen. Okay. So okay. just for wording itself, there's no such uh, limit. La. It still can applic uh, it's still applicable for the smaller diameter. Okay. Out, right? So what, what for the wording itself? Okay, yeah, correct, correct. You can, you can. You can use 800 to represent okay. 600. Yes, you can. Okay, thanks, thanks. Or oh, you want LTA to answer you? Chi Heng, you there or Chi Heng? Jiheng, Jiheng. but I think uh, I'm not really into design. <laughs> I'm more of the operation. This is, this is your, your spec, man. Yeah, correct, correct. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so now, I, okay, it, it's good that we have a good mix of people here that we can share our experience. Okay? So, uh, in my opinion, you use 800 to represent 600, usually not an issue. From a technical point of view, I tell you why I think uh, it's an issue. Because we won't design a 600 mm diameter to support a very heavy load. Or very uh, heavy loading location, like a tower block. If you notice all the heavy loading, okay, even in MRT Viaduct, which is a very high loading, you don't see people using 600 mm diameter. Use a lot of 600 mm diameter to form the foundation. Okay, you, you will notice 600 mm diameter usually is used for podium of a high-rise building or maybe some substructure that is not so high loading. So usually they are not a concern. Come on. I hope it address your concern. Huh? Anyway, I know yeah, you are talking you. that you want to comply with the LTA CDC, right? Yeah, so yes. But, yes. But, but you brought another issue is that you worry, you, you bring up this issue because you worry 600 mm diameter actually cannot perform Satisfactory compared to 800 mm diameter. Is that correct? Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, so this is what I'm trying to address to you. Okay, okay. any more? You. Please mute yourself. Any more people got any question? Hey, I want to hear from the student. Where is uh, Li Cheng? Li Cheng, are you? I mute you. Uh, are you here, Li Cheng? Yeah. Are you, yeah, you 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 can follow so far? Uh yeah. But actually I'm like not super familiar with Eurocode, but uh it's okay. Like But you're me. learning Eurocode in university now? 
Uh, yeah, but I, I studied uh, somewhere else. So, well, we didn't use Euro code. You didn't study in NTU? Uh, no. Oh, you're not from NTU, uh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Okay, so far you're so good. Huh? Okay, good. Then I want to ask a P now. Where's Edward? Edward? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask, you need to answer the question that I suppose to... Why the end bearing... Uh, can, you, can you see the screen now? Yeah, yeah. No, I need to... This one, okay. Remember I mentioned the end bearing capacity number, why the ball power varies a lot in sand? Because of the tall, the, 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 the cleaning of the tall. Uh. Okay, good answer, huh? good mm. answer. So we have problems, we always have problems cleaning with the toe. Yeah, yeah. For those people who don't never do ball power or, or don't understand ball power, we always have problems cleaning the toe to achieve the, mm. the clean base whereby the concrete will be sitting on the, the, the so-called uh, end bearing. Okay, good. One last question. Who want to ask question? No question, I have one final question. Look at the screen here. What is the definition of failure and excessive? Okay, excessive already explained it. What is the definition of failure in terms of EC7 for ball power design? Who want to answer this question? Hey, nobody want to take out a channel. Nobody take out a channel, I will ping on someone. Edward is PE, right? Okay. Who is your friend? Who is also a PE? Edward? Victor, huh? Is it Victor? <laughs> Wait, uh, let me see. Uh, is he in? Victor, Victor, Victor Chu, is. is it? Yeah, yeah. Victor, Victor, are you here? Victor, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hey, can you speak louder, Victor? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you are a PE, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so can you define if today you design ball power foundation, your powering contractor do the test power, your load, your power instrumentation contractor do help you do the load test. Then you they give you the result. How you will define the power has failed or passed? I would say you based on the design resistance. Design resistance, all mobilized or? All mobilized. You design 2N, he give you 2N. You design 40N, he give you 40N. Pass or fail like that. Hey, don't stress, don't stress. This one, not exam question. Because you're also a P. You may not do more than 30 story. Today you do 25 story, also the same question, I tell you. So how do you define failure? No? If you're not sure, just say you're not sure, it's okay. It's okay, everybody is learning, it doesn't matter. It, you're not sure, right? Yeah. Who can answer this question? I don't want to answer. Uh, maybe I can try to answer. You already ask. You already answer one time. You don't answer. Okay. I want uh, who's an RP? Yeah. Okay. I ask my classmate, first class honor to answer you. Wei Ming, Wei Ming. Wei Ming, Wei Ming. Okay. I still don't know that. <laughs> I'm not so sure. You should know. Uh, You're you talking about which. All right, ultimate limit state or SLS? Ultimate limit state, ultimate limit state. So you say ultimate limit state? Lah. Yeah, yeah, correct, ultimate state. What is the definition of failure? So technical failure, to technical not structural failure, assuming the concrete never cracked, yeah. I think it's bound to the settlement limit, maybe. Sorry, who said that? Victor, is that? Uh, yes, yes. 
So for I think it's 25 mm. 25 mm you consider fail already, huh? 10% of the power button. Oh, who say that? Who say that? Uh, I will hear. Ah, okay. The answer is 10% of the power diameter, but that is only one of the design so-called criteria. If you go and study enough, uh, this ultimate, if your power sector more than 10%, that means one meter is sector 100 mm. Even immobilize all your friction or end bearing, uh, that means you consider fail, right? Okay, consider fail. Uh. But this failure, does it mean that your design is wrong? Does it mean that your, de your design is wrong, your preliminary design is wrong if your power really fail by this 10% diameter? Yeah. Yes or no? No. Yes or no, I can't hear you, sorry, Ai Wei. Uh, no, no, no. No, right? Okay, good. Yeah. I will stop here, okay? I'll stop here. I don't want to talk so much now. It's good. I just want you all have to start to have some thoughts. Okay, you start thinking. Now, I need to go on. Are you 